What's up, Alchemist? I hope you guys are having a blessed and fantastic day. Let's tap into this energy. Please take the messages and the energy that closely resonates with you in your situation and leave what doesn't at Hell's Gates. Okay, I'm Alchemist, and don't forget, we stay cute, speak the truth, and transmute all negative energy. Ashe. What's up, guys? I hope you are well. The introduction did not sound the same about the beaded crystals shaking. I do need to get a replacement for my other one, Alchemist. See, it's very weak sounding at this time. Yeah, it's not the same, it's not the same. A couple beads have gone missing. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get a replacement for that within this week. Let's see what we got going on anyway, Alchemist. I've also been wearing a lot of green as of lately, guys. Green clothing, green head wraps. I've been eating a lot of green too. I just made some rice and kalaloo with some smoked mackerel. Mm. Let me tell you guys, I tried not to eat too much because I knew I was going to get the itis if I did and I wanted to get into a couple of readings today. I was actually going to get into a reading yesterday, Alchemist, but that's when someone decided to send an attack to my crown chakra and my throat chakra. But to be fair, Alchemist, I feel like Whatever I was feeling yesterday was possibly the remnants of whatever was sent around the full moon that we just had back in January. I think that was the full moon in Leo. So it's like the small little backlash of whatever was sent out. Okay, I did post on my community board just to be mindful. I do feel like someone could have even repeated whatever ritual they did around the full moon again. Someone's definitely trying to have someone silenced here ain't shit working so i thought let me just let that energy clear you know a little 24 hours thing rest up eat some good food get some greens in me and it'll be good so yeah i made some rice and kalaloo and spinach curry so i've just been eating a lot of greens a lot of fruits as well and drinking water after this so let's see what we got going on maybe you may be feeling cool to wear some green or like some green candles Something about welcoming in abundance as well. New beginnings and prosperity. As you know, they go hard when something good is coming into your life. These attacks wouldn't be for no reason. So alchemist, enough blabbering. Let's see what we got going on in this energy. Thank you, Holy Divine. We got 2005. Insurance came, life insurance. Whoa. Well, that's almost... That's almost 20 years, isn't it? Wow. It'll be 20 years next year. In uh, 19 years. So someone could have got out an insurance claim back in 2005. Some form of life insurance claim that was made here in 2005. Or well, this could be some form of life insurance policy on someone born in 2005. It could be a child. We got a lot. Oh, wow, we got a fake passport here, Alchemist, and a legal status. Oh, let's see what we got going on in this energy. I hope I have an extra placeholder. Yes, I do. For that other card, there's something here about a life insurance policy and a fake passport. Someone may be using a fake identity, or someone may have a fake identity here. Yeah, there's fake passports. Someone may be trying to flee from something. Hmm. Someone here with a legal status using a fake passport to gain access here to a country. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, for real. It's a lot going on. Alright. Let's see what we got going on in this energy alchemist. Let me shuffle these cards. What's the message, please, for it? Thank you. Message is message. And we've got imprisonment out there in reverse. Family room here at the back of the deck. So something about a message. This could be something that happened here in 2005 that may be coming to light. This may really have something to do with a life insurance policy here. July 2005 could be significant here. Someone could be age 29. Someone's trying to avoid some form of imprisonment here. So something that someone did fraudulently here. This definitely has something to do with someone's identity. Family room, sudden wealth, wow, courthouse. 
So that could be a family that's facing some form of legal issues here at this time or about to face some form of legal issues here. A family member could have got a life insurance policy here on someone. This could be a child or this could be a life insurance policy that was taken out in 2005. Give me some energy, please, girl. Yeah, someone here is in despair. Someone could be age 32. Someone could have recently been let off their job here. We've got distant horizons out there in reverse and thoughts out there in reverse. Something that someone did here in the past. Definitely something to do with a life insurance policy here that's resurfacing. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, so message here for a mature woman. Or there is a mature woman that's received some form of message. So for someone, this mature woman could be a mother figure. This could be a grandmother here or a feminine in someone's family. Or well, this message pertains to a mature woman. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Thank you. Oh, so there's a community of individuals here, Alchemist, are in despair. Now, this could be a community of individuals that works with this mature woman here. Some form of cover up. We've got occupation out here in reverse. Something about someone using their occupation here fraudulently. Fake passport. I'm not sure if you hear the birds in the background here, Alchemist. Birds are your messengers. You could be hearing a lot of birds in your area. Hawks or crows. Those are seagulls in the background right now. Someone flying overseas or someone definitely coming from overseas because we have a legal status here. Because when I think of seagulls, they're usually always near water. Not all the time, but, you know. Most times, seagulls, because they're by the sea. <laughs> Let me get back into this, y'all. <laughs> so someone's in concern because someone was using their occupation fraudulently. Something that someone did here in the past. Someone could have connections here to the embassy. Someone who deals with passports. Or visas. Illegal status of someone here doesn't have a visa to be in a country. So a fake passport could have been given to someone so that they could have legal status or false legal status here in a country. Now, someone's trying to avoid some form of imprisonment, but this also ties into identity or identities. Someone in this community could be using someone else's identity to have some form of re residence here in a country. Something about a mature woman here. Hmm. Someone asked someone here for a favour here in the past where it came to someone's identity being altered so that someone could gain some form of residency. I feel like this goes deeper than this. Someone's in concern about their occupation. Someone could have recently been let off. This could be someone in this community. This could be this mature woman. Or someone who works in, in an insurance company we got main male here and that landing on top of mature woman so this main male could be born in 2005 how old would this person be now 18 going on to 19 this main male could be the son of this mature woman out here in reverse so something about a mature woman getting a policy in, in policy a life insurance policy here on their son or there's a main male that's connected to this mature woman Someone isn't having positive thoughts here at this time. I'm going to clarify with the tarot deck here, Alchemist. What's going on in this energy? Let's just put some more cards first. Official person out there in reverse, Alchemist. So it's definitely someone here who sits in a position of some form of power or authority that was abusing their power and authority here, working with this mature woman. Hmm, a false person. We have all the medals and badges he's got there this person could have served in the army in the military someone who was of service here a serviceman someone could really have worked in the embassy here something that a false person did here in the past so that they could receive some form of unexpected income adjudication 
something went to court, something about paperwork or documents. Someone here could have got a life insurance policy out on someone here, but whoever this life insurance policy was on, something about this person's identity wasn't right. A false person, someone isn't who they really were on paper. Someone who isn't who they really are on paper. I said were, because I feel like someone may not, you know, be alive, alchemist. Something's been happening here for a while. The past 40 years are very significant. Something that was happening in the 70s, or something that happened in the 70s here could be significant. So that's been popping up in the energy quite a lot. Someone here could have married so that they could have some form of residency here in a country or something about someone marrying under someone else's identity. Identity is very significant here. Very, very significant. Sudden wealth. Right under insurance claim alchemist. Someone did something here in the past to receive some form of sudden wealth. So it's like someone passing away, but they ain't who they really are. On the life insurance policy, the name on the life insurance policy connected to the person who's passed away isn't really their real name. So someone was living under a false identity and a life insurance policy was claimed on that individual. What? We got child out there in reverse and that landed on top of main male. So, someone who's born in 2005 is significant to this energy. Someone could have had a child here in 2005. This child will now be a young adult. Or basically a teenager. 18, 19, yeah, that's kind of still a teenager. Damn, alchemist. But the child card just came out here in reverse. So, is this child still alive? I don't think so, y'all. Someone could have had a life insurance policy here on a child. Something about a false marriage couple as well. Someone marrying so that they could receive some form of residency in a country. Give me some energy to spread. Because we've got a lot going on right now. Someone is definitely in concern here, Alchemist, about an insurance policy. Now, I do feel like this is an insurance policy here on a child. My voice just cracking up as I'm saying that, Alchemist. Message of concern right on top of message. Someone has definitely received the message here that's put them in some form of worry. Matters of the past are resurfacing for this community and this mature woman out here in reverse. There could be a child that's living under a false identity. Or we'll take the energy how it resonates, Alchemist. You could be this child that is now this grown adult. Something about your childhood is very significant. Matters of the past. Someone's identity could have been manipulated here for residency in a country also some form of sudden wealth could be received here by someone else now someone's in concern about this yeah someone here doesn't want to be in poverty and someone here doesn't want to be dishonored high honor at the end reverse i feel like whoever is involved in this this is someone who sat in a position of high honor Someone here, expectation. Someone's expecting something. Or someone was expecting to receive something. Or someone did receive something. Toilet and lay out here in reverse. Alchemist, what's this card on the floor? Occupation out there in reverse. Someone was definitely using that occupation fraudulently here. Something isn't working out for this mature woman and this official person anymore. Maybe someone was expecting to get away with something here. Because they were connected to someone of high honour. Yeah, poverty out there in reverse. Someone's trying to avoid imprisonment and someone here wants to avoid being in poverty. Someone here is definitely going for a lot of legal issues here. But someone's trying to stop something from coming out. Damn. So we got bad health alchemist that landed on top of expectation and we got coffin that landed out here in reverse. 
a death that took place here in the past is very significant to this energy. Something that happened in the last 40 years. So a few of the parties that were involved here in this scheme and operation, it feels like some of these people have already passed away. I don't like how the child card came out there in reverse though. So a mature woman and a child could have passed away here in the past and a life insurance policy could have been claimed on one of these two individuals. Or well, this is a mature woman that put a life insurance policy here on a child and something happened to this child. Something was covered up. Last year, Alchemist, I tapped into this reader and I think I tapped into the energy quite briefly. This isn't going to resonate for everyone here. Something about a family, they had a child, this child could have been under the age of, let's say, six years old. Under the age of four, really. And even four years old, a child could have been four years old. Some form of harm came to this child. Now... Whether this harm was accidental or intentional here, this led to this child here passing away. But whoever this family is, they did not want the death of this child here to be called to the attention of the authorities. So something was done underhandedly here to cover up the death of this child, including this child here being buried. And as a result of this child's passing, another child was brought in here to take this child's place like a replacement, so that the authorities wouldn't think otherwise. See how I'm mentioning identities here being switched, someone using a different identity. So someone may even be living under the identity of a child that has already passed away, because someone is acting in that place of the child that is no longer alive. And some form of insurance policy was claimed on another child. Some form of gift here was received or someone was expecting to receive some form of gift here by doing something that they did here in the past again pathway out there in reverse something is hidden hidden secrets hidden documents hidden identities and i'm also getting a hidden body this is why someone's in concern message of concern someone has already received a message of concern that matters of the past are resurfacing causing a lot of people here to be in despair. Now these individuals are trying to avoid this judgment here and people are trying to avoid imprisonment. But with this expectation that came up here in the upright, it almost feels like some way, somehow, someone knew that later on down the line, something was going to come up or something was going to resurface about this. Someone could be drinking um, black currant juice. Some form of juice you have to dilute. Oh, um, taste them out of my mouth. Ribena or something like that. Ribena. Sassacina. Mmm. This is crazy. And you know the last reading we did, Alchemist, we had more mutation links that kept coming out. Do I have that card with me? I just have 1978 here, Alchemist, in the deck. So the year 1978 could be significant. Someone could be born in 1978 or something that happened in 1978. Here we are. Morgue or mortician links. Someone could know someone that works in a funeral home. Someone who works in the mortuary. A construction site could also be significant. Damn, we ain't even pulled the cards yet, Alchemist. I'm just trying to see what's going on in this energy. We got marriage and wealthy man out there in reverse. Last 40 years, many individuals have passed away in the last 40 years. So some of the individuals that were part of this scheme and operation, some of these people aren't alive anymore. Something about a marriage, a false marriage, or marriage couple. The death of a wealthy man here in the past, that's also linked to a child. 
someone who could have falsely adopted a child to pass off a child as theirs so that someone could have some form of residency in a country. What? Oh yeah, goodness. Let's, let's get into this with the tarot cards because we've got a lot going on. Let me make sure I shuffle this. Someone could have suffered from a lot of nosebleeds when they were a child. Or issues with your nasal. Hmm. Someone here could have asthma. They got a lot coming out. Something about a love connection here. We've got the moon right after that. There was some form of illusion here that was casted here in the past. Something, something here about an illusion here being broken. What is going on? All right, Holy Divine, give me some energy, please. What do we need to know about this insurance claim? Thank you. So we've got the King of Cups out here. <sighs> a scheming fraud. Someone who only looks out for themselves. This is a big scheme here, Raka. This is a very complicated scheme that ties into so many different things here, many different factors that are involved in this case. A very complicated case. So give me some energy on the King of Cups, please, Holy Divine. Voila, we got the Ace of Cups. Now, on the Ace of Cups card, Alchemist, we have conception, fertility, pregnancy, love. We do have marriage out here. So, a king of cups here could have married someone here in the past for some form of financial stability. Someone could have deliberately got someone pregnant, a child here being involved in this. This child could have been born in 2005 just so that this person could have a uh, residency in the country. So, like, the person would be like, oh, I've got a child in, you know, so-and-so country that I have to look after, so I need to be here. Someone did something purposely so they could attain a stay permanent stay here in a country so something about a false marriage we did have adjudication that was at the back of the deck alchemist give me some more energy on the ace of cups with the king of cups holy divine yeah alchemist eight of ones out there in reverse returning from travels it's all about someone traveling overseas here to another country and then getting with someone but this was, whoever they got with, is either they already knew this person. Or this was just a, a meet up here because it was like a contract, a contractual, is that the word? Contractual marriage. Something being done because someone needed something to be done for them. <sighs> now this eight of wands also signifies theft and opposition. So something like this King of Cups did here in the past, where it comes to them traveling, returning from travel. Someone was restricted here in the past, and I feel like their restriction came from their legal status in the country. There we go, the seagulls again. So I'm definitely getting into this here, Alchemist. Someone traveled from overseas to another country so that they could reside in. But something here was also stolen. What's, what's going on with the um, eight of ones, holy man? Jewel. Nine of swords, we've got judgment out here in the middle. Hmm. Most of the cards have been coming out in the middle as of lately here. It's like balance needs to be restored in a situation, but many people are trying to stop balance from being restored. Someone's trying to keep some form of cycle going. You can check the last reading alchemist. I remember the temperance card even came out in the middle. Let's clarify the judgment card. What's this judgment, holy divine? Someone's worried about something. It feels like someone here is under judgment. Six of ones out there in reverse, yeah. Someone here is failing, or something has failed. Some form of scheme or operation has failed. Someone here is under judgment. As you shall reap, you shall sow. I said it the wrong way. As you shall sow, <laughs> as you shall sow, you shall reap. I'm 
So I'm getting water and fire in this energy so far. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's failed here, Al um, how about I say alchemist? <laughs> I'm really into this with you guys. What's failed here, spirit? What's the six of ones? This, it may have something to do with a theft, someone trying to steal something from someone. What's failed? The sun. What? Someone was trying to keep something covered up, something hidden here, Alchemist, but with this sun, something is being illuminated. Something about a child is very significant to this energy. I can't make this up, Alchemist. So, the Ace of Cups, we had fertility, pregnancy here, conception. The sun card, the baby has been born because the baby is out on the sun. Time for Teletubbies. You see the naked baby on the, the horse. So, a child was conceived. Something has failed here for someone. This may have something to do with a child being conceived. Maybe someone thought if they had a child here with someone, they would receive residency in a country and maybe some form of financial aid or assistance. But with this eight of ones out here in reverse, we have theft. So someone was trying to steal something from someone or someone was trying to steal something here from a child. Ace of Pentacles out here in reverse, Alchemist. Ooh, three of ones out there in reverse. Unrealistic plans and expectations. Someone who's very arrogant. Someone did something very impulsive here in the past. This is why someone is worried now. And this has something to do with a child. So, as I mentioned, Alchemist, about the, the energy of the child passing away, I don't know if this was intentional or accidental, but it's almost giving me the energy of something here could have been done intentionally. Insurance claim. Someone could have quickly put an insurance claim here on someone when they were a child in hopes that they were going to claim off this. Now, Alchemist, this could be a child that is already deceased. So someone did something here in the past and he attempted to do it again to another child. You could be this other child that someone tried to do this to, but something has failed. Give me some energy with the sun. What's the truth that's coming out? What? We got the world card out there in reverse alchemist. Someone's burdened. We got the Wheel of Fortune out here in reverse too. Oh my God. Lack of success, something failed. Spirit, give me some energy on this. What's failed? What's, the, what's this truth? What's, what's been hidden? The lovers. Something about a cycle not being completed here when it comes to a love connection. marriage someone's still married to someone what okay alchemist someone is still in a, um, a marriage here i was about to say in a relationship but they're not together but they're still married legally on paper something was legalized on paper but this was done illegally it was done for someone else's benefit so someone could receive some form of residency in the country and some form of financial gain. Someone is still married. The secret here is that someone is still married. Someone is still in a cycle. The lovers. Someone's still connected to someone. And someone has a child here. What? Hey, this is a lot, y'all. I don't think I was ready for this. <laughs> I don't think I was ready for this when I got into this energy. <sighs> Something about a mature woman still being married to someone. So, different identities being used. Someone could have married under a different name. Someone may have entered the country on a fake passport and married under a, a false name here. And a child was also conceived from this. So, someone could have then married someone else. But they're still married to somebody else. 
so someone just marrying someone so that they can have legal status in a country or they can receive some form of financial aid or assistance. Someone is pretending to be someone else's spouse. But this is solely contractual. It's just for the benefits of one or the other. So maybe this mature woman gets paid to marry people so that they can have legal status in the country. Because this mature woman is connected to someone, official person out there in reverse. Where are you? Where are you? Who works in the embassy. We getting it. We getting it, alchemist. There's a lot going on in this energy. This is very complicated. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Very freaking complicated. Multiple marriages are going on here. There's someone working construction. What is that noise in the background? It sounds like chains or something. Someone could wear in a work in a where? Someone could work in a warehouse or someone works in construction. Give me some energy on the lovers. Oh god. Alchemist. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. That came out so quickly. A false marriage contract. Now, on the lover's card, Alchemist, it says shared values. So, individuals here who share the same values where it comes to their, their dealings. This is deep. Like, I'm feeling a lot of resistance here right now, Alchemist, because I feel like something's been... It's like we're probing into something, but we're not all the way in. Someone who shares the same values. Dependency. Someone was dependent on someone for some form of residency. And someone could have been dependent on someone for financial stability. Come on. There we go, Spirit. Give it to me. Yes. So, this mature woman here, because we did have poverty out there in reverse. Maybe someone was struggling here in the past. But someone had access here to someone. Someone who works in the embassy. Someone who has connections. Someone who has the ability to pull strings. So someone overseas caught wind of this person. Like, hey, if you go to this person or if you go to this family or if you go to this community, you'll be able to gain access into the country. They'll be able to sort you out. So someone connected with some... Confirmation of that beep outside, Alchemist. So someone got in contact with someone here like international call someone could have been talking over the phone or however someone met someone could already have been in the country illegally first and then connected with someone who had the dealings to get them in the country or have them stay in the country legally but someone here was in poverty so this mature woman is a grandmother that's what spirit is saying but something about this person offering up their child here for marriage or a child of this mature woman married someone here for financial stability and this person married this woman for legal status here in a country. So the daughter of the mature woman here, like, hey, mom, this is my new boyfriend, la da da, can you please like, can you call uncle da 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 or whoever, because I need him to have residency in the country. She could have been pregnant at the time she requested this or she knew that she would have to get pregnant so that her spouse at that time could stay in the country. We got three on the marriage card so someone could have been married in March or someone could be born in March. We do have fire sign in this energy so Aries could be significant. It's a lot alchemist. Um, it's a lot. Like I said at the beginning, it's a lot. It's a lot. Four of Pentacles out here in reverse alchemy. Someone's been holding on to something. Someone received some form of financial gain here in the past. Someone has an unwarranted fear of poverty. Someone definitely doesn't want to be in poverty, but someone's been holding on to something. The document could be significant. Now, with this devil card being out here alchemist and the child card that was out there in reverse, something could have happened to a child in terms of a sacrifice so that someone could receive some form of unexpected income and some form of sudden wealth of a life insurance policy that was put on the child and someone's still holding on to this money three of cups out there in reverse unhappy endings 
Someone's worried about things coming apart, Alchemist. Taking advantage of others here in harmful excess. It's like many individuals were using each other. <sighs> Give me some energy on the Three of Cups. Oh, you right. Thank you. Six of Pentacles here, Alchemist. Something here about a gift. Someone received a gift here in the past. Or this may have something to do with, with a gift here that was left to a child. Someone here could have been trying to sacrifice a child so that they could receive the gift that was left to the child. Temperance. This is deep, y'all. Like, the messages are streaming in right now, and I don't even know how to get all of these out in words. Hmm. Two of Cups out there in reverse. Incompatibility. Unhappy couples. This marriage here, this wasn't a, like a, a genuine marriage. <laughs> marriage. It wasn't a genuine marriage. Six of Wands out there in reverse. Failure. A failed marriage. Disharmony. Disconnection incompatibility because this was a contractual marriage the the person that married the masculine was only marrying the masculine for financial stability and the masculine was only marrying the feminine for residency so there was no love in this but a child was conceived conception pregnancy a child was conceived from this Something's coming out. Give me some energy, please, Holy One. You've got the two of um, pentacles out there in reverse alchemist, ace of wands. Someone is now lacking balance. Someone has bit off more than they can chew. Matters of finances are now appearing in this because everything that's happening here seems money orientated. This marriage and this residency. Ace of Wands here, a new beginning. Some form of good news here is coming towards someone. So, Alchemist, if this relates to your family here, okay, you could be this child that something here was taken from, some form of Six of Pentacles, some form of gift here was taken from that someone was trying to take from you. So, with this marriage card here, something here about um, a couple adopting someone, you could have a, a father, a stepfather or a stepmother take the energy how it resonates that could have falsely adopted you because this person wanted to have some form of control here over your finances. So someone trying to claim you as their child. But this being done with the motive of someone receiving something that was left to you and then this person or this couple then try to sacrifice you so that whatever was left to you would go to them. And someone here also had some form of insurance policy here on you. But something has failed, which would be a sacrifice and a marriage and an operation. It's a lot. It's really a lot. Someone has definitely bit off more than they can chew. Thank you, Spirit. Six of Cups, Alchemist family. I can't make this up. It landed around on top of the devil as well. Something like these individuals were working very hard to do here in the past. And I feel like they were working very hard to keep something covered up. Yeah. Five of Pentacles here. Someone could have recently been let off their job. Pending further investigation. Now someone here is in a lot of regret. Damn. What I just stumbled on. What I just stumbled on. The death of someone here in the past. Or this could be the death of several individuals here in the past. Something was covered up. And someone tried to do something again, like history repeating itself. I'm picking up here, Alchemist. Someone that knew of you when you were a child, a wealthy man that is no longer alive, left something here for you. Now, this person could have left their life insurance policy to you or some form of gift that this person wanted passed down to you. And something about your mother holding this gift off or holding this gift away from you. Because this person here didn't want to be in poverty. So I did mention something about a love triangle. A marriage? No, y'all, this is crazy. 
This shit gonna make me have to put the cards down for this, y'all. If there was no harmony or compatibility within this marriage, and this was a pure marriage, it weren't pure, a marriage that was done out of soul convenience, someone here could have been having an affair with someone else within this marriage, whether it was the masculine or the feminine. Could the paternity of a question, um, paternity of a question, paternity of a child here be in question? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do some channeling off this energy. There's so much coming through right now. Let's get some extra energy. Yes. This is a lot right now. So we got sacral chakra here, alchemist. Fertility is very significant. Someone here could have tried to sacrifice your fertility or someone's fertility here has been sacrificed. Someone here may be infertile at this time. This could be this mature woman out here in reverse. Someone not able to breed or conceive. Or someone could be sexually siphoning your energy. Someone could be pulling off on your energy here to try and protect themselves from something. Marriage affair, come make up alchemist. We've got video evidence in court. Some form of video evidence here is going to come to light. This is why many people here are worried. This could have something to do with a marriage affair. Uh, kid you not, alchemist. For those of you from the yokai. <laughs> you know um, EastEnders? Um, that scene with Max and uh, Stacy when um, I think it was their married the marriage night when she just got married to Bradley. So, for those who don't know Alchemist, it was like a, a little neighborhood, <laughs> Walford Square. There was this young girl called Stacy. She was like in her twenties um, or something like that, and she was having a marriage affair with her fiance's father, Max, and it was recorded somehow, right? So, the Bradley guy, her, her fiancé found out about this. They had gotten married and everything. And it was like, I don't know if it was Christmas, but they had some form of gathering where they were all sitting down. The whole family was there. They were all sitting down and laughing and drinks and everything. And then, ah, oh, it was their wedding video. Their wedding video was about to be played, but instead, it had the tape had, like, always been over, overridden, override. You know when you, like, go over a tape? I ain't burnt a CD in a very long time, Alchemist. But you know when you, like, record over something and their um, tape with their affair, hot and raunchy, them kissing and, you know, doing X, Y, and Z, was taped over the marriage tape. So now all the family was sitting there, you know, waiting to see the, the, the special day, and all they see is Stacy and Max lipsing. Bare tongues lipsing ting. <laughs> hey, and then Bradley, oh bloke he was ginger as well oh so was max he went so red like oh my gosh I, it was terrible Pro proper red and then they say no bradley i'm sorry and it, it was just terrible it, i really someone died at the end of that i'm gonna lie with bradley oh my god let me not get over let me not mess up the energy alchemist <laughs> let me stay focused because i'm just remembering it like damn that was crazy some form of a marriage affair here did take place. Lovers. Someone here was still married. Someone here could have multiple marriages here. So someone definitely using different identities or different aliases. Oh yeah, as I was saying guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I even just brought it up. It just popped up on my timeline on YouTube. The, the whole tape with um, Stacey and, and Max. Like, it literally popped... Before I even got into this video, Alchemist, it popped up. That's crazy. Some, so could someone have been having a marriage affair with someone's father? So 
son and father. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna do more channeling on the energy, y'all. But yeah, that's that was going on. Some, something's gonna be coming out in court. Two birds fighting for the same branch listen to lies about you. Now, this could be a community of individuals that listen to lies about you. Or for some of you alchemists, if you have siblings, this could be siblings that listen to lies about you and was working with this mature man and this community here to sabotage you. Two birds fighting for the same branch. Someone was fighting for something. Now, these, see, with the birds as well, birds are your messengers. The two birds in this energy could be this marriage couple because these are two individuals that married for convenience financial stability and one for residency but i also feel like the person that was marrying for residency was also marrying for financial stability too so when something was passed down to you with the six of pentacles a gift these two individuals work together here to sabotage you but there's many secrets here one of these two individuals or could even be both were involved in some form of marriage affair someone here having a marriage affair here with a wealthy man and this wealthy man is who left you did six of pentacles this gift that was then intercepted here by your mother and your stepfather two birds fine for the same branch that branch is your branch of abundance alchemist yeah this could also signify two birds fighting for the same man or woman take the energy in. oh it might be a woman Someone here could have turned deadly alchemist. Just like I said, why would I reference the East Ennis thing? Obviously, I've seen it on the YouTube um, recommendations at the same time. I mentioned that at the end of the um, episode, when the marriage affair got revealed in East Ennis, Bradley sadly ended up losing his life. He fell off the roof. I remember Stacey's, Bradley! Because <laughs> now she's laughing. I'm just, just it was so messed up. That was really sad. That shit almost traumatized me. Two birds fighting for the same branch. Two, four, six. The month of June could be significant. April, February. For the same branch. A branch of a bank. This has something to do with a bank here, Alchemist. This has something to do with a trust account, a trust fund account. Two birds fighting for the same branch. So definitely some form of marriage affair that was going on here. Now this could be, I'm really picking up, this could be masculines that were fighting for one feminine. Now this could be two masculines that were fighting for this married woman something was lost and something was love it feels like it here alchemist because the lovers didn't come out there in reverse it came up in the upright so there was some form of romantic connection here but there's also some form of romantic connection that was done out of convenience someone could have passed away at 36 39 I'm going to do some more channeling on this the month um the month sorry the year 2009 could be significant 2005 2009 something could have turned deadly like there could have been an argument or some form of fight that was going on someone could have even found out that someone was having an affair on them and someone could have taken it upon themselves to unalive whoever was having the affair with someone else more mutation links. There's a lot. We're gonna we'll have to do another reading for this alchemist. Sinking ship. Someone jump ship now sink is shimping. Shimping. Now a sink <laughs> now a ship is sinking. Ship sink. Fucking hell. Sorry y'all. Yeah, someone may work with boats. Some could have a boat company or a cruise line. Someone may be a cruise agent. Well, this is someone traveling overseas. 
sinking ship something is sinking titanic we got sending or sent a fake engineer to your home here alchemist so someone was definitely trying to put some form of death and ending here to someone Or this could even be someone that sent a fake engineer to your home here to monitor you or have some form of device put into your home. I'm gonna have to get get some extra energy, y'all. Just because we got the coffin card out there in reverse, so I do feel like something backfired here on someone. Something didn't pan out for someone the way they were expecting it to. But this also does signify someone who has already passed away. Now someone here is off the deep end. Overseas is very significant. Overseas travel across water. Thank you, Spirit. Smuggled in something. Someone could have smuggled something in here using a boat, cargo, a cargo ship, and we got animal sacrifice. Someone definitely tried to put a death and ending here to you, Alchemist. The death and ending card came out in the last reading and there was a lady who said it could be symbolic because I mentioned that a child may have passed away or could have passed away. I say what I pick up in the energy. Not everything always is symbolic. Sometimes it, it actually is what it is. Especially if there's a lot of people out here doing a lot of dark things. Backfires happen every day. So, we got the devil card out here, Alchemist, with the sacrifice. Definitely an animal sacrifice that took place here. I feel like this is something that happened here in the past, and this may have been successful for someone to receive. Someone may have tried to do this again, and this was not successful. So, someone could have sent someone in to get a job done for them. Sending a fake engineer to your home. Someone posing as an engineer. Someone sent someone to try and get access here to your home. An intruder or spiritual intruder sent different people to your area community this could be people that have a legal status here so definitely some form of gang stalking that was going on here as well someone here was trying to shut you up or silence you they were also trying to do this here with animal and an animal. There we go. They were trying to do this here with an animal sacrifice. <laughs> Definitely a tongue time ritual that went on here. And I just mentioned in the community board that there was a crown chakra, root chakra ritual that was going on yesterday or within these last couple of days here I commenced. Someone asked what a skull cracking ritual was. I believe this is when the practitioners stamp on the skull of an animal, um, obviously in the likeness of you, in hopes of, in Africa, they would say bursting your brain. So like to, you know, have you go crazy. So your brain would be mush. So you won't remember anything. You'd be like a, a vegetable. When people do these type of rituals, you can have like, it can manifest in the way of a, like a brain aneurysm or something like that. Yeah. They sent one to me last year, I remember the date, 14th of April, around 12 p.m. And you know what's very significant, Alchemist? I knew that I was under spiritual attack because just a year or two years prior to that, the 14th of April, 2021, oh yeah, there was 2021, they sent uh, the same attack, but it wasn't from my crown, it was to my heart. So I was feeling very sharp um, pains in my chest heart palpitations i even had to go to a and e and i took a picture i remember the picture in a and e i was sitting in the waiting room waiting for a chest x-ray and it was 222 on the timer i still have that picture to this day so when they sent the attack to me just last year and i checked my um, phone to see it was like wow it's like this is a ritual that they do every year 12 p.m 12 p.m or 12 a.m but it was the same day the 14th of april
you people been waiting for something to happen to you for a minute, Alchemist. It almost feels like these people been waiting for something to happen to you since you were a child. And this may have something to do with a trust, a trust fund account here that was left to you that someone didn't want you to receive. Smuggled something in. This could even be a child that was smuggled in here on a fake passport. Corrupt case. This is a big corrupt case, Alchemist. A big corrupt case. And those people here working with these individuals, people who had some form of power and authority that was falsifying things and moving things around for these people's benefit. My mind's about to go blank, Alchemist. I can feel it, but I'm actually not. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually okay because I've said most of the things that need to come out already. There's a lot of confuffle going on in the energy right now. Okay, a couple of cards because it's up. 1978 did pop up. So the year 1978 is significant. Someone could be born in 1978. You got monitoring spirit and hacked your phone remotely. So these people have definitely been keeping tabs here on you. This monitoring spirit would be this community of individuals that they sent to your area. Sent different people here to keep tabs on you and report back to them. Some of these people could have also sent monitoring spirits here to your home. Like day and night people are checking to see whether you're alive or or i'm alive a fatal event someone was waiting for a fatal event here to happen to you alchemist something may be backfiring on someone someone else i think it is already backfiring on someone else like ah uh, i don't want to say this shit now something oh god i don't want to talk about this shit Someone will be passing away here, Alchemist. Unless someone has passed away already. Now the child card is out there in reverse, so I don't know if this is gonna be a, a child or a young adult. But something is, is not sticking on you, it's falling on someone else. Yeah, I don't want to say. I don't want to speak anymore. Let's get these specifics. We'll close this up. Oh, I just had a little African accent just then, so yeah, someone could be of African descent. We got nose pierce on a ring. We got a distant relative. Herbalist and IT engineer. We've got the patriarch, father or father figure, brown eyes. Blonde hair. Damn it. I get these cards. Someone could be from Jamaica. Oh my God. I don't, I don't want to say this, and I don't think I'm, I don't know if they do. Do y'all want me to say this? Because I don't want to say it. I really don't want to say this. <sighs> Alchemist, there's been a death contract on your life since you were a child. An open death contract here with the devil. Someone tried to sacrifice you since you were a child. And something has kept on failing. Oh. If you have a a, a rebelly, uh, I don't want to say this shit. I really don't want to say this shit. If you have a sibling here, I'll commit. I would say please pray for your sibling, because whatever has backfired off you continuously, this sacrifice, this. This, all right, spirit, please. I don't want to do this shit, man. I don't want to fucking say this shit. I really want to say this shit. Please pray for your siblings, y'all, because something's gonna hit someone else. <sighs> we got 
um, smear campaign and we've got Bravo. And they got ex lover and muscle tone for their sins. Eyes of Envy. Face tap. And you got South. Gym instructor, personal trainer. And we got Warning, Warning. Real estate agent or landlord. This is messing me up, yo. There could be a life insurance policy here on someone's brother. We've got a delivery driver and we've got a cousin. Stolen or hidden assets. Now, whoever this... Uh, we got Jazza, man. I don't, I don't I really... Uh, we got works of legal documents here, Alchemist. Um, tag team and auntie. Sinister plot and intentions. Fiance or fiancé. North stepsister. Tribal marks or scar, and we got in laws. We got close friend here, Alchemist, and, and their fate was still winning. Made a contract, so we got a mother or mother figure. 